Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nikki Marie back with another video. So today is gonna be the start of a new vlog. As usual, I gotta do my little makeup just a little bit, you know something slight so today i got up and it is december 1st so today is the day that i send my car to hyundai and i have a little bit of an update with that so basically i went over there to confirm the information the lady told me when i called a few weeks ago she basically said that i should bring the car there on the first i don't need appointment because i'm getting it towed in and so i was just gonna do that but then i was like you know what let me just go over there and make sure so i go over there and guess what the lady there which is probably not the same lady i don't think it was but she's basically like yeah we're still booked up and we're gonna be booked up probably till the end of december and I'm like, well, this is what I was told. I was told to bring it on the first. I didn't need an appointment and I would be able to get it looked at. And now you're telling me I have to wait some more weeks. If that was the case, I would have brought it over here and just let it sit there, you know, until it was time. And now you're telling me I'm going to have to wait even longer. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer for me. So I have to figure out another car after this rental ends. So this rental, I got it until the 12th. So after that, I got to try to see something else. And I've been checking and they're expensive. I've been seeing like 700. I'm just like, if I have to spend 700 on another rental for like another three weeks maybe it's just getting out of hands it's like i'm spending money on a rental and i should be spending that money on fixing my car but yeah it just is what it is so i called the tow through my insurance this morning and it should be on its way so i'm just gonna send it over there they just told me like let it sit maybe they can like work it in or something sometime this month i don't know so we're just gonna let it sit there it's just been sitting here where i live the whole time so it doesn't matter if it sits there or here but hopefully they're able to work it in and i don't have to wait too much longer to try to figure out what's wrong with this car because it's been like two months two months yeah so after that i'm gonna be going and doing some work today definitely got an amazon blog today i've been liking the amazon because honestly i finished the blogs way before three hours most of the time so it makes it worth it it's like yesterday i spent like maybe an hour and 20 minutes on the blog so i'm just like okay 66 dollars for an hour and 20 minutes that's lit but anyways yeah i'm gonna wait for this tow truck guy to come so he can come get this thing okay so it is like damn near three hours later they never showed up the tow truck like they were supposed to their eta was like 752 like almost an hour after no like an hour and 10 minutes after i requested it and they said they were on time like they were texting me and then after that i was calling them they were not responding so i contacted the insurance my insurance and then they tried contacting them and they didn't respond so i was like oh i need to cancel this i need another one a different person like a different company so they were in the midst of doing that and like time is going by like it's been three hours since i requested it i requested it at six in the morning 6 40 and it is 9 40 now and i'm just like you know what just cancel it all together i'll try this again tomorrow morning but i literally just wasted three hours like i'm usually working during this time so like you're preventing me from getting my money like i was planning on dropping that off right when the service center at hyundai opened and getting on about my day so i can go make some money and you're just holding me back from making some money so i'm like kind of irritated right now i swear like every time i turn around it's always something like i just things can't like ever just go smoothly like i don't know what the issue is but hey guys so it is like a week later i think i'm not sure basically haven't got my car sent to where it needs to go hopefully we can get it done today not this morning but like later on this evening but yeah so i'm trying to get my life together guys i've been looking for jobs i've been applying for a lot of jobs and hopefully i get one soon because i've been online all morning for spark and there has been really bad orders online my aunt had told me that they were gonna start using i think the point pickup more and point pickup their orders are even more lower than spark you'll get like those six dollar orders seven dollar orders and like i'm starting to see them more on the spark app so i'm kind of like uh and it's slowed down so much like right after black friday pretty much instantly slowed down almost so it's like i can't even like rely on that as income it's just like so up and down that i just can't do it and like uber eats and doordash is like non-existent pretty much here so i'm just looking for jobs and trying to get it together anyways i have a little 
a little masterpiece. Some bread that's been proofing overnight. Looks fantastic. I will be getting to that later on. I'm still trying to work a little bit this morning before my Amazon block, but not going so well. As you guys can see, there's no orders, literally nothing. So um, I'm gonna get to this later on, but I don't have a pan that I really wanna use, but I'm gonna just make it work because I don't feel like buying like another pan to cook it in. So yeah. So yeah, as far as just my mental, I've been okay, I guess. Just trying to stay positive, you know, and things will come out on top better. Like I'll get it together, but it's gonna take me some time because I like got really behind. Like I'm really behind in a lot of things and there's nothing I can really do but try to figure it out make it work I know a lot of people were saying go back to the post office and I just don't think I'm gonna do that again and like I got a question the other day that was still asking me what happened to the post office I left the post office like eight months ago so glad that you're just like trying to figure that out now it's been eight months I'll be back with you guys later when I get ready to make my bread so all right guys so it's a little bit later I went ahead and did my Amazon block that I had scheduled for today and I was trying to do some orders for spark but it is completely dead so I came home and I'm ordering the tow truck and I'm about to prep my bread and do that right now Okay, so we found a towing company. ETA is 318. It's currently 227. But yeah, let me, let me just get together, wash my hands, and get this together. Yeah, the Hyundai. Yeah. So we just want to take the spoon and just go like this. That's about it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray the parchment. It shouldn't stick to this, but I'm gonna spray it anyways. And then basically just dump it in there. That was the tow truck people. They should be on their way 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna let my bread sit for another hour and then I'll have to go over to Hyundai and kind of drop that off, give them my information and everything. Yeah, so I'm gonna go out to the car and make sure that it turns on, like at least the electronic part. So I'm gonna go do that and then wash these dishes. Oh, I missed my car, you guys. Still turns on. I miss my car. It's actually fairly clean in here too. A little bit of dirt, but not too much. So yeah, it turns on. It's ready to go. Here's the key. My seat is up super high. I don't know who's been in my car, but yeah. Okay, so the guy came like faster. He's literally here picking up my car. So he literally pushed that car by himself and it took my cousin and the neighbor to push the car the last time. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Hyundai and like give him all my information and whatnot and then I'll be back after I do that. I was watching um, My Unorthodox Life on Netflix. I've been watching it. I watched the first season. I thought it was really good. So it's on season two now. So I'm watching it. It's really interesting. Oh, I finished Wednesday. I finished that like in like two days. That was really good. I'm excited for more seasons of that. It was really good. And I'll take uh, more Netflix <laughs> suggestions down below because I be having a hard time finding stuff to watch and I don't know how I stumbled upon this show, but so yeah, let me go. All right guys so i went and handled that dropped the car off and gave them my information and everything it's time to put my bread in the oven here's how it looks it rises a little bit not too much it's gonna be an odd shape and also i just realized that i don't have a serrated knife so when i get ready to cut this i might have to smush it down a little bit it might get smushed i don't know we're gonna see but it's going to the oven 400 degrees 40 minutes and then we'll have bread i'm not putting anything on top of it You guys will see it when it comes out of the oven. Hey Siri, can you set a alarm for 40 minutes? Oh, 
good morning guys so it's been a few days since i vlogged and yesterday my sister popped up on me because i haven't been answering the phone literally haven't been answering the phone to anybody because y'all know my situation i'm just in my own world right now so she came popped up on me sat here for a minute with me and i was fine and all but you know i still have my own problems that i have to figure out on my own so yeah today is saturday the 10th of december like this year is flying by i have literally like a month and a couple days to my cruise and i'm just like trying to figure it out but i need to go to the store to pick up like some meats and i'm thinking about doing like a juice cleanse for today just like liquids only today because yesterday i had a drink for the first time and it was it's been almost three weeks since I've had a drink and I went with something pretty light. So I never tried these Corona seltzers. So yeah, basically I tried this yesterday. They're pretty good. They don't really do anything to you as far as like alcohol content. Um, it's only 4.5%. So I had two of these and it really didn't do nothing. So yeah, I need to head to the store. So I'm gonna go do that. All right guys, so I'm back from the store. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So for the juices that I got, I went with the Bolt House Farms. So I went with the Green Goddess Classic. And this one I've never tried. It's the Superfood Immunity Boost. Plus, I got this cause I might do like a little mini workout. And this thing is so good. It's the C4. This is the first pre-workout that I ever used when I first started working out that I first tried and it was lit. Then my body got used to it and then I started taking some other kind but I just tried this a couple days ago, the Skittles kind and it is so good. So I will put it in the freezer and have a little some sort of workout at home from YouTube or whatever. And then I got some eggs nature's promise eggs then i got some ground turkey some chicken thighs that were on manager special for five bucks so i got those chicken thighs boneless skinless and then i got some chicken wings so these are all going in the freezer i would split the thigh pack in two but i don't have any like bags i ran out so it's all going in the freezer and uh, yeah that's it for now i'm gonna be back in a minute Alright, so got my first glass. Let's go ahead and try it. It's not too sweet, which is good, so thumbs up. I already know Green Goddess is good, so I'm not even going to try that one, but this one I want to try because I haven't tried it. So yeah, first glass of the day. Mm -hmm. 